The next chapter that we deal with in physics is thermal expansion and calorimetry. This chapter con uh, consists of very simple questions uh, and uh, there are only two, three formulas which you need to apply to solve the questions. You just need to learn to apply these formulas properly. So, in this question that we have, there is an aluminum container of mass 100 grams and it contains 200 grams of ice at minus 20 degrees Celsius. The system is at thermal equilibrium that means the aluminum container is also at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Now, heat is added to the system at 100 calories per second. We need to find out the temperature of system after 4 minutes. Now, you should know first one thing that at thermal equilibrium, the temperature of the whole system is same. Now, let us first check as to what happens, as to how much heat is required by the object to go from minus 20 degree Celsius to 0 degree Celsius. Now, there is an important thing about 0 degree Celsius. Ice can exist in the form of uh, ice at 0 degree Celsius or it can exist in the form of water at 0 degree Celsius. So, we convert the system from aluminum plus ice at 20 degree Celsius to aluminum plus water plus ice again let it be ice at 0 degree, degree Celsius this is minus 20 degree Celsius. So, from aluminum plus ice at minus 20 degree Celsius to aluminum plus ice at 0 degree Celsius the amount of heat required to be given to the system for this to occur is equal to the mass of aluminum that is given to be 100 grams into the specific heat of aluminum that is given to be 0 0.2 into the change in temperature that is 20 plus the same thing for ice the mass of ice is 200 grams into the specific heat of ice that is 0 0.5 into delta T that is 20 this comes out to be equal to 400 plus 2000 is equal to 2400 calories. Now, the time this takes is equal to 2400 upon 100 calories per second that is equal to 24 seconds. So, we are done with only 24 seconds now and the total time that we have is equal to 4 minutes. So, we can heat the system more. So, now our system is aluminum plus ice at 0 degree Celsius. Let us convert this to aluminum plus water at 0 degree Celsius. So, the amount of heat required for this is equal to the mass of ice into the specific uh, into the latent heat of fusion of ice whenever there is a state change a heat is involved that is equal to the latent heat of fusion that is 80 calories per gram in this case. So, this is the state uh, the change of state uh, the change of states from ice at 0 degree Celsius to water at 0 degree Celsius is very important because it consumes some amount of heat, but there is no change in temperature of the system. So, be careful over here. So, the heat absorbed by the system without change in its temperature is equal to 16,000 joule. Again, the time taken is equal to 16,000 upon it is 16,000 calories, sorry, and 16,000 upon 100 that is equal to 160 seconds. So, we are done with 184 seconds now. Now, the total time is 4 minutes that is equal to 240 seconds. So, amount of uh, the time left for which we can do more heating is 240 minus 184 that is equal to 56 seconds. So, in 56 seconds the amount of heat that we will give is 5600 calories. Now, the system was at aluminum plus water at 0 degree Celsius. Let us see what happens when we give this much this much amount of heat to this system let it go to final temperature t you must keep in mind one thing that you could you can apply the equation for aluminum plus water at 0 degree celsius to aluminum plus water at t degree celsius directly by using the specific heats of aluminum and water but you could not have applied this conversion directly from aluminum plus water at aluminum plus ice sorry you could not have applied the equation for aluminum plus ice at 0 degree Celsius 
to aluminum plus water at 3 degree Celsius directly because it would have also involved the term of latent heat of fusion. So, for applying this what we do is that we equate 5600 that is the amount of heat given this is required to change this from the, uh, this to this therefore, this is equal to mass of aluminum into specific heat of aluminum that is uh, 0 0.2 into delta T let that be T plus 200 into specific heat of water now into 1 into T. Therefore, on solving this equation we get 220 T is equal to 5600. So, T is equal to 560 upon 22 the temperature delta T. So, the final temperature of the system after 4 minutes comes out to be 560 upon 22 degree Celsius. This is our final answer.